Welcome back to the channel. This is Gaming and Tech with Sir Gabiru TV, and I wanted to talk about a pair of headphones that I really like called the Liberty Air 2 Pros. Um, I actually picked up these pair at Best Buy. The normal price is $129, but currently, as of today, they're on sale for $99, which, to be honest, is a little expensive for uh, mid tier headphones. But I will say that after using these for a little bit over a week, week and a half, um, love the sound of these headphones, love the design, but let me get into that. First things first, I already have it unboxed just to show what's going on. Um, this is the headset itself. You pop these out, this is how they look inside the box. Very, very, very comfortable headphones. I can honestly say that I could wear these for roughly about four hours throughout my actual work shift. It wasn't until about four hours, four and a half hours in that I started to get ear fatigue. Um, design is very comfortable. Personally, I love the sliding case where uh, it's very easy to push up. Um, dropping the headphones inside is very simplistic. You know how sometimes when you have these stick designs, it's very difficult to grab them, pull them in and out of the headset, but it's actually very easy. Just drops right in, start charging right away. Um, this I believe this does support wireless charging also. Uh, USB-C, thank God, because a lot of these headphones to this day still use the, um, not lightning cable, but micro USB, the older. I don't know why they still use that. that that's a skull candy thing, but that's a conversation for another day. Anyway, so what comes in the box with these headphones, which I love their design. You have your anchor charger, and of course you have your earbud tips. If you, anyone that knows about anchor products, you already know that they come with typically either six pairs of tips. This actually came with nine, I believe, because it was a couple inside of this little plastic here. But I'm actually using one of these currently. Um, what can I really say about this? Oh, this also is IPX4 rating. So for those that are going to the gym, uh, whether you get caught in the rain, not like a tsunami, but, you know, a little <laughs> regular rainstorm. You should be fine. You'll be able to wear these without any issues with the sweat. All I suggest is just clean them off when you're done and pretty much go from there. Um, as for connectivity, I can honestly say uh, normally I'm a huge fan of Galaxy Buds and uh, AirPods. Those are my two favorite. They're mainstream headphones that you can pretty much find anywhere. Um, the connectivity for these, as soon as you take them out of the case, these instantly connect by the time they're already at your ear. Now, through the application, you do have an option where you can actually uh, decide. I don't know what this setting is called, but it's an option where if you take the headphone out of your ear, it'll pause or it'll start playing again when you put it back inside. That's something that you're going to want to do uh, when you download the Anchor app, which has custom sound. You can customize the uh, equalizer for the type of music you want to listen to, how you want the sound to come out. Uh, it has transparency mode. Obviously, it has... What do you call that? ANC, active noise canceling, which you have the option between outdoor, indoor, and you can customize it to your fit. That's what I normally do, especially when I'm on a train, because I'm not a big fan of all that background noise that goes on, the shaking and the nonsense. And it's I'm in Philadelphia, so if you've caught the subway in Philadelphia, not only is it nasty, but you do not want to have to hear <laughs> what's going on. Um, what else can I say about this? The battery life. This is a very important one for me. Uh, I believe you get about seven hours. I'm not going to even say what the box gives you. I'm going to go based on real life experiences. Like, like this is a tech channel where I am going to talk about obviously specs and certain things at a certain point. But for the average viewer or the average person that just wants a decent pair of headphones, they're not necessarily looking for all the tech about the product. They just want to know if it works. And I can honestly say that uh, with active noise canceling on, because I actually uh, play Call of Duty online, a few other things. I was on a chat on um, Discord. And they last for about five, five and a half hours with active noise canceling on. With active noise canceling off, about seven hours, seven hours and 20 minutes, seven hours, 15 minutes, give and take. So they do have a decent battery life. Now, if you're looking for something that lasts longer, then you're going to want Galaxy Buds Plus, which have 11 hour battery life. But again, the chances of you having a headset in your ear for a straight 11 hours. I don't ever suggest that for any pair of headphones. Call quality. This is a very big one for me. I know a lot of reviewers talk about the, the quality of sound, bass. 
how good it sounds when you're playing certain music. I don't care about that at the moment. For me, I want to know if I go outside, if it's raining, if it's heavy traffic, if it's um, I'm in a sub, the noise is behind me. How good is the call quality on the headset itself? And I can honestly say I give it about a 7 out of 10. And the reason I do that is when I have Galaxy Buds or the EarPod 2s, um, I can literally sit on the subway. Again, if you're from Philadelphia, there's a lot of noise going on around you. And people can still hear me crystal clear as if I was holding the phone to my face and they don't even know that I'm even on the Bluetooth. So that's a plus when it comes to um, the Galaxy Buds or the AirPods. The Pro AirPod Pros, I, I kind of had an issue where it sounded a little muffled when I talked to people and they had an issue hearing me when it was like a lot of noise going on in the sub. So they're good too, but for $250, no, they're not that great. Um... In terms of call quality underground, everything else, they're amazing. Let me not talk down to the AirPod Pros before someone hits a dislike. <laughs> but anyway, when it comes to these, there is a little, there isn't a crackling noise in the background, but you can tell if someone is outside. Like uh, I've talked to my wife a few times and she said, oh, I could hear a little background interference, but it, was, it wasn't anything weird. It's crackling really bad. Or it was like a lot of muffled noises. No, she heard me just fine. And I did that over the last week. I did try the subway. And I will say this. I do not suggest you go underground with these headphones. Because your quality of your call quality is going to drop. Meaning you might have to take your headset off. Or put your Bluetooth off. And just talk through your phone. Especially if you're in a crowded subway with a lot of different people. If you have a commute where you're on the phone a lot. I wouldn't necessarily suggest these, but if you're just want the quality of music, you want the active noise canceling where it kind of just drowns out the noise around you. I will say that to me, these have better sound than the Galaxy Buds Pros and they have better sound than the Galaxy Buds Plus, primarily because with these features and the way they fit in the ear, it's, if it fits deeper in your ear canal compared to the other ones which just sit in your ear. And I love the sound. Like I like, I personally use the, uh, Soundcore custom setting. It's like it's music setting. I'm, I'm, I'm 35 years old. I'm too old. I'm tired. I don't feel like changing equalizers. I'm getting old. <laughs> so that's why I stick to that one. But I can honestly say that this is a very good product right here. I know I had this video just sitting here looking at it, but I'll give you a closer look. It's a really good product. Now, again, for those that are very clumsy, I don't believe they're going to make cases for this anytime soon, especially when you look at the design of how it actually is. Um, very easy to slide up, no resistance whatsoever. Please don't drop these while that case is open because it probably will break. Um, the fill, these do feel cheap, meaning it is a quality, don't get me wrong. It looks nice. Um, it's not really a fingerprint magnet so far because I normally keep this in my pocket, it's not too bad. But um, yeah, if you had a pair of Galaxy Buds Pros and you hold that case, and then you touch these, you could definitely tell that the build quality is substantially cheaper. But again, these are normally priced at $129, which I got them for $99 at Best Buy, while Galaxy Buds are, uh, the pros are $199. Uh, the Galaxy Buds Pluses were actually on sale for about $99 or $109, depending on where you go. So I really suggest those over these. But again, I like the Anchor sound. These are always my go-to whenever I have earbuds uh, in general. Like I'm actually talking on the, I believe they're called the Anchor Life.2 NCs. Those are the ones that I'm actually talking on in the video. So if you like the call quality of those, you're definitely going to like the call quality of these. Because it's much clearer than what I'm talking on right now for this entire video. So what I normally uh, pride myself in doing is using the actual product or product line. So you can actually get an idea of, hey, uh, even if this isn't the style that I want, there are other Anchor products, and this is what I can hear. Keep in mind, I am in a quiet room in a back office. So, you know, take it how you take it. Anywho, subscribe. Do all that fun stuff at the bottom you hear on every video. And for the next one, give me an idea of what you want me to review. As long as it's reasonably priced, I will review it. Review it. <laughs> anyway. Take care. Till next time.